Thanks for coming down today. Today we're going to be talking about one of the greatest things that we have here in Florida. We have access to the waterways and what you need to get access to the waterway is a beautiful boat. Now, not everyone knows about boats, so I thought, what better topic could I possibly do than inform people about boats? Because the question of which boat will I buy is probably going to come across some people in the audience. So anyways, I thought I would start by saying we've got so many things that we have access to here in Florida. We've got the lakes for skiers and wakeboarders. We've got the ocean for the people that like to get out there deep and go fishing. And we've got the river. People can just cruise down and have a little picnic or maybe park by the beach and hang out. But everyone's going to need a different type of boat. You're not just going to be able to say, oh, well, I just want a 23-footer and go find it. It's not like that. There's different boats for, you know, every type of activity. So the first activity I thought I'd talk about is the, uh, the most normal, I would say, for most people would be cruising, you know, just down the river, maybe having a little picnic. This is going to be great for families. And the kind of boat that you're going to want for that is going to be a deck boat. And believe me, I have done all the research. You can go out there and buy a deck boat. It's nice and wide open. There's no roof. You can have a bimini top, which is going to cover the entire boat if you want shade. And it's going to be fast enough to get you around. But the great thing about these boats is that they're so easy. Anyone can drive them. They've got an outboard motor, which means the motor is actually sitting on the back of the boat. And that makes it a lot easier for people that aren't so great at driving boats. Maybe they're first timers. So anyways, these people are going to have a great time with the deck boat, and that's what they need. Now, there's also other people out there, too, that don't want to just cruise down the river. These people, I would say skiers and wakeboarders, they're going to want a little action. They're going to want some air, and they're going to want some speed. So what kind of boat do we need for that? We're going to need a wakeboard boat or a ski boat. Now, this kind of boat is a little bit different than the deck boat. It's a little bit... You know, it's got a little bit more fatness to it, and it's going to go through the water and make a nice wake. So when you're looking for this kind of boat, the thing that you're going to want is a nice metal wakeboard tower on top of it that's got a pole that's going to be able to pull people, and it's going to have a direct drive engine. That kind of engine is going to sit in the middle of the boat and have a propeller that actually comes out of the bottom of the middle of the boat which is unlike any other boat. And the reason that's great is because it puts out a huge wake. And that is what skiers and wakeboarders want. So if you're not going to be skiing or wakeboarding, you're not going to be cruising, what are you going to be doing? You're going to be fishing. You're going to be going out in the ocean, probably through Mayport Jetties, because that's only about 10 miles from here. And you're going to want to go out through the ocean, and you're going to want to go out there maybe 30, 50 miles and go catch some fish. Now, if you want to do that, you're going to need at least a 25-foot boat, and you're going to want a center console. Now, a center console is a big open boat, and where you steer from is in the middle of the boat. There's a nice steering column in the middle of the boat. And what that's going to allow is people to walk around and have their fishing pole and not get tangled up, and that's going to be great. You're also going to need a boat that's got at least 110 gallons of fuel if you're trying to go out that far, 50 miles. You're going to need that. So this, this center consoles are very important to fishermen. They can even have towers on top of them so that you can stand on top of the boat and look around and look down in the water and see what kind of fish are down there. So that's great for fishermen. But then there's more than one type of fishing boat. There's the center console, the big center console for out there for the deep sea fishing. But here in Jacksonville, we've got the nice intercoastal waterway and you're gonna want a flats fishing boat for that. That's gonna allow you to get really shallow and get those fish that are way back there in the creeks. They only draw about this much water. They can go in 12 inches of water. So the flats boat is going to be your bet for being in the intercoastal and fishing. So now that we've covered everything, pretty much every type of boat that there is, we're going to go into a little song that's going to get you interested and get you pumping. So here we go.
horse and speed. Do you want to cruise down, down the river? Be inside the cabin so you don't shiver. We all want access to the water, but don't know enough to even bother. So let's put our judgment to the test, buy a better boat than all the rest, and find what we need to get out there on the water. So I hope you have a great time. I really appreciate you coming down tonight. It means a lot. And I'd like to flip the camera on my little audience member, my camera recorder. Hello. Thank you very much and have a great night.